Hey guys, it's Peyton and today I am going to be telling you what I read in February of 2018. I read seven books and one short story, which is really good for me. I haven't had that good of a month in a long time because busyness. <laughs> and I'm also really sorry that I have not posted in a while. It's been around a month. I've been really busy with school. We took the ACT, which you have to do well on or you don't get into a good college. I was dead inside, so I'm back. <laughs> and I'm really sorry that I have been absent. I think I just needed a break because I have been working so hard on videos and then life got really busy and I just, I needed time to just focus on school, which sadness, ew, disgusting, ew. And then just having relaxing time that I savor every minute of because I need that. So let's just go ahead and get in to what I read this month. Well, I guess last month, February, yeah. The first book I read was The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. I gave this a three out of five stars and I listened to this on audiobook. I have been on a Rick Riordan audiobooking thing since the last bit of January and it's been nice because I finally finished the Heroes of Olympus series and I'm really happy about that because I've been wanting to do that for a while. I just think since I took such a long break in between book three and four that I kind of just forgot a bunch of things and I didn't feel like figuring it out. So listening to it was a fun way to get back into it. This was the ending of the series. I do think it could have been better. It wasn't the best book ever. That's why I gave it a three out of five stars. I don't think Rick Riordan can write a bad book. I just wasn't into it as much as some of his other books that I've read. Next, I picked up the audiobook of The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan, the first book in the Trials of Apollo series. I also gave this one a three out of five stars. It was another thing where it was good. I enjoyed it. There was a few laughs here and there, but I didn't think it was the most amazing thing I've ever read, but it was obviously good and it was enjoyable enough that I had fun while reading it and definitely wanted to pick up the next one afterwards. And the audiobook was fun, so I liked like Rick Riordan's audiobooks. I'm having fun with them. So it's going through fast and I like it. The next book that I read was Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I gave this a 2.75 out of 5 stars. I feel really bad because I really wanted to enjoy this book more. I don't think it was the worst book ever written. I just think there was issues with it and if you're asking me my opinion on it there's so many videos out there that really express everything that i'm thinking i read most of this in physical form but then i had to pick up the audiobook because i did hear the audiobook made it a bit easier to get through because i was going through this really slow because i was kind of bored and i wasn't really feeling any of the characters that's one thing that i can really take out of this book i don't really like any of the characters none of them were memorable to me i hate saying that I truly do but that's how I felt I just didn't feel like this book was gonna stick with me will I read the second book I have no idea I am kind of interested because the ending I kind of want to know what happens but I haven't decided yet if I will do that maybe I would audiobook the second one because it made it go a lot quicker for me I've heard a lot of people say that it's bigger than it should have been and I completely agree I feel like the big thing this book was supposed to be about was wrapped up in the first 100 or so pages and then the rest was just like, what are we doing here? What's going on? I don't know what this book is supposed to be about now. Like, what? I just wish I cared more in general about this book. I hate it so much that I feel this way. <laughs> The next thing that I read was a short story written by Edgar Allan Poe. It was The Telltale Heart, obviously, by Edgar Allan Poe. And I read it out of this short story collection from his that I got from a used bookstore, which this will probably show up in a future book haul. And I thought it was really pretty and it was really cheap price. Just really cool book in general. And I did give this short story a five out of five stars. I just really enjoyed the creepy aspect of it. It is about a murder and it just got me. I really was interested and I wanted to know what was going to happen. I already knew what was going to happen because I did read it really, really long ago. But revisiting it was a very fun experience that I do not regret doing. I am going to hopefully read more of his short stories in the future. I have read a few of them, but most of those were assigned for school.
school and that just ruins things for me. So I think I just want to read them on my own time and hopefully enjoy them a lot. The next book that I read was Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Halley. I really love this book. Here's all the tabs that I put in it. It is a 5 out of 5 stars. I wasn't really sure about my rating at first. I was like, maybe this is a 4 stars. But then it sunk in and I flew through this book so quickly. I loved it. It, it is pretty short, but I still loved it. You have to interest me and keep me going to have me read it that fast. I really loved the relationships with the high schoolers. I'm in high school and I'm a junior as Simon is too, so I could relate on those things. It is about a male who was in the closet for being gay and it's his journey of coming out and his little bit of a romance that he has going and it was good. Someone's trying to blackmail him and things go on and I guessed who the person he was messaging within the first 20 pages. Am I the only one that did that? Because I don't know. <laughs> I am so excited for the Love, Simon movie that comes out March 16th. I'm gonna be there and I need to see what happens. I love Nick Robinson for one thing. He's the cutest little muffin and I love him. And I just feel like this movie is going to be so great and portray the characters accurately and I cannot wait. And I just got blinded by my light. Don't look in your light if you're filming, okay? I do not recommend it. The next book that I read is one I do not own. It is The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan, the second book in the Trials of Apollo series. I borrowed this one from my library for audiobook. I'm on the audiobook kick right now because I just recently discovered how amazing they are. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars, which is what's been happening for the other two that I read this month for Rick Riordan. I don't know why. They're good. I just haven't been wowed by anything about it. I am excited to continue on with the series. The next book is coming out sometime this year and I am going to be picking that one up. I'm excited about it. I do enjoy following Apollo. He's an interesting character because he's so weird and cocky and arrogant and it's just it's kind of funny the situations that he gets into sometimes. I'm enjoying it but I just don't think it's the same as the original Percy Jackson series. That was the thing though, like yes. I just realized I skipped a book that I read. Before I read The Dark Prophecy, I read Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. I half read this one physically, half audiobooked it. I'm going crazy with these audiobooks. I love it. It's so nice to read it physically and then when you can't hold a book in your hands, you listen to it. It's the coolest thing ever. And I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars. Highly enjoyed it. I'm so happy to finally have finished this Shatter Me series because this is my first read through of the trilogy. I just took so long to finally read this book and I feel like this one may be my favorite book in the trilogy, though I'm not positive since it's been so long since I read the last two books. But can I tell you, when I'm filming this video, Restore Me comes out tomorrow and I'm about to die. I need that book right now. And I know I waited to read this book so I'm not dying as some other people are, but I'm still dying. I want to read it so bad. I really love the romance. It got me in the feelings and I love Juliet and her journey and everything that she has gotten through and how strong she is. And I just love her so much. She's a great character and I cannot wait to continue on with her story with Restore Me. I'm so excited and I cannot even imagine how good it's gonna be. Actually, I can. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> These covers are so beautiful too. Yes, I want my book cover to be this beautiful. Why can't I have that? I feel like I won't. The next book that I read, I also do not have a physical copy of. It was You by Caroline Kepnes. I read this one from ebook and audiobook. I just keep doing that. It's great. I gave it a four out of five stars and I really enjoyed it. It was a very interesting book. Probably one of the most unique books I've ever read. It was written in the second person, which means it's using the word you. So it's talking to you. And it's about a guy named Joe Goldberg who meets this girl and instantly gets obsessed with her and kind of creepily so not kind of he's creepy he basically stalks this girl who is you it freaked me out because this girl's a writer she reads and it's referenced as you so whoa it freaked me out he stalks her there's some crazy crap that go on in this book and i do love me some dark psychological weird books this was good and i enjoyed it there is a second book but i've heard it's not that good it's called hidden bodies i hope it's good i might try to get that one soon because i'm interested to see where the story can take itself i do recommend this book for people who want something different and really like some dark 
creepy books that keep you in the mindset of the weird crazy person. So those are all the books that I read in February. Tell me down below what you read in February and if you enjoyed any of these books or want to read them. I'm so glad to be back and I hope to get back on a regular schedule for posting videos because I do miss it. Right now filming it, I realize I really miss this. So like this video, comment down below, have a good day, please subscribe, follow all of my social medias which are linked down below, make sure to click the bell button which is right by the subscribe button which you should have already clicked and goodbye.